All right, guys, we're back with some Star Wars Shatterpoint, and we're going to hit up the, the, the Super Commandos and Gar Saxon of the Mandalorians. Uh, these guys are, are, are you know, they're, they're kind of tied up with Darth Maul, I believe. Um, they're they're the, the, oh, God, what are they? Death Watch. Part of the Death Watch, I believe, or they were part of the Death Watch. I don't know. I, I, I know a little bit, maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyway, we're going to be hitting those up, and they're mostly black, and there's some red... And then it's just mainly about the highlights. I'll probably do some some lighter blue highlights, uh, you know, on the black to kind of maybe give it that bit of a sheen. Anyway, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how far we take it. Uh, but I've got three of them to do. We have Gar Saxon, which is here. And then we have this other guy shooting straight up there. And then we have, uh, I think that's... Uh, Gosh, I forgot her name too. Man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm so bad at, at remembering some of this. Stuff. I I know it, but I don't know all their names and stuff. <laughs> anyway, anyway, guys, uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And uh, let's get these started. Oh, hey, you know what? I'm I am. I was considering trying this this new transparent I picked up from Pro Krill, the black, because I've got to airbrush these black. Obviously, they're they're primed and zenithal. But uh, I, I need to, the the base of these guys. The base color is going to be black. So I was thinking about using this transparent. I've never really used this particular one, so I don't know how it goes down. But uh, maybe we'll give that a shot. Um, that might be in the works. We'll see. But if not, we'll be using the, you know the Pro Krill uh, Cold Black, which is terrific. Yeah, I know how this goes on. Anyway, so uh, let's uh, let's do that. But anyway, maybe maybe maybe. All right, guys, let's get in there and knock it out. I think I'm going to go ahead and give the Pro Krill uh, Monument Hobbies Transparent Black a shot. I, I, I'm just going to give it, I'm just going to, you know, put it in there. I'm not going to put anything in it. Well, I always put a little bit of airbrush dinner. I, 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 it's, it's a habit these days. But uh, maybe I won't have to. I haven't seen the consistency of this yet. So uh, I'll let you know. I'm going to do put it in the airbrush. And I'm going to airbrush, uh, you know, just probably the top down because the, the bottom's already black. So uh, I'm really curious about this. Let's check it out. Here we go with the uh, transparent uh, uh, black. Let's let that dry for a second. Sometimes you can just kind of pump some air through it. Just hold it down, don't engage the needle air dry right no need to blow that air dryer out or that blow dryer out just use your air dryer. if you heard me <laughs> well that, that looks pretty good uh, I'm interesting definitely needs another coat but but I like it I like it I'm gonna get the second coat of the transparent black On this one, we're going to go with the regular uh, Pro Krill, just cold black, and, and see if there's there's much of a difference. Let's let's, uh, let's give it a shot. I've got it loaded up and ready to go. I got the base down on all of them. Um, let's see. I used transparent plat black on this one, and I used regular cold black on, on this one. And they're, they're they're pretty much exactly the same. The only thing is, I had to spray a little more on with the transparent than I did with this. But you know what? This this is probably a not the the best demonstration for it uh, for a transparent. I thought I would. I, it was just a little too gray for my taste. But it has to be black, and then we're going to do a brown over it. But anyway, I I'm getting ahead of myself. So uh, what I did is, uh, this is regular black. We're just going to go ahead and leave it. And then this is uh, transparent black, right? Looks pretty much the same. And then I went ahead and did Gar Saxon as well. And he is uh, part cold black. And then I finished him off with the transparent. So he's actually both. And they all look identical. Actually, the cold black looks a little more flat than this. But it's still, it's not going to matter. All right, so where we've got the base down, and now I'm going to move on to, I've got to get some uh, dark umber on some of the leather 
uh, not Gar Saxon. Gar Saxon's over here. Uh, right here, we're gonna get a little brown, real water down and do it over the leather here to give it a, just a, a sheen. And I believe the same for, for her. We'll see. But then uh, we'll get that and then we'll start working on the red. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna do a little black brown here on the leather. I'm gonna start with her, and then I'm gonna move on to these guys. I don't think Gar Saxon has any, but uh, she does. So we're gonna end up using the black brown to just real water down to give that leather a little brown color. All right, let's do it. I think that black brown is going to look really nice. It's real subtle in there, and that's exactly what we want. It just gives it a little bit of an off color, so it's not just black, and it's it's believable. All right, let's do it to uh, the next guy. Who we got? To, let's uh, move on here. Here we're using uh, we're using a burnt red to just do a base for the red, and I had to take my time. I have to go off camera, and again, this is just the base. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna base the rest of these, and then I've got to do her centerpiece here. She has a couple pieces here, and then this part of the helmet is red. And then we're done with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start basing the rest like I did these. And I will do that on all of the rest of the models with this red. I'll probably just do a little bit on the camera. You get the gist. Um, so I'll probably get most of it off camera. But you saw some of this. I'll, I'll continue her on camera with uh, the helmet and all that. And then uh, I'll move on and show you some of the, some of the other guys. But uh, you can see it on the next red, actually. So let's do it. Here we go. All right, we're gonna get some of this red on here. Um, I'm just gonna continue with the with the burnt red real quick. Um, let's see. He's got a lot of red everywhere. So it's got some hot huh, some pinstripes and some etching that needs to be done. So yeah, it's not too bad. But let's get it done. All right, let's knock it out. We got Gar Saxon down here. Um, I got the base uh, burnt red down on all of the, the characters. Um, I did uh, I did Gar Saxon mostly off camera. He's got a lot of uh, a little etching and pinstriping to do, as you can see. So, uh, but we got it down. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back with the red, the actual red. And I may even do a, a mixture of uh, the red, of the two of the burnt red and red to get a mid tone, and then do red. We'll see. I, I, I'll let you know. Anyway, let's do it. Got a little mid tone down. I mixed the red with the burnt red, and came up with this uh, quick mid tone. You can do it if you want, or you can go straight from the burnt red to red. It's 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 okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and. Knock these other guys out here. You know, just real. Gotta get these shins. Yeah, that looks good.
got the, the mid-tone, I mixed the burnt red with the red. Got everybody done. Pretty quick. Actually didn't take too long. Pretty simple. Just gotta take your time, stay in the lines. You know, don't don't go too fast. So there's really not too much red. Take your time, get it out. And if you if you nick something on that black or that brown that we've done, you can go back and fix it with this type of red. It's that black will go over and then boom, real real quick. Lot 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 more forgiving than than white in my opinion. So uh, I think we're looking good so far. So let's uh, let's get the uh, just the pure red on there now. All right, let's do it. Just wanted to point out the the reason I've got this background up here is because behind it are, are, are a ton of you know of paints and it kind of drowns out whatever I'm doing. So uh, that's why we have the background up there. Just thought you might like to know. Final red uh, will be the uh, straight. Uh, what is it? Uh, what is their red? Whoops. Their red is bold pyro red. There it is. I think I've showed that before. But uh, all right, let's knock it out. Take a look at the difference between pure red highlight and the mid-tone, the mix of the burnt red and the pure red. So you, you can see the difference. This one's a lot brighter. That light is, let me see if I can move this out of the way. I don't know if that's any better or not, but this is no hot red, pure red, just mid-tone and this is the highlight. I don't know, hard to see, hard to see if I can't, it's hard for me to see it on the camera if it's if it's coming through, but uh, we'll see, we'll take a look. But anyway, uh, there is a huge difference there, so uh, let's continue. For this one, I added uh, orange to the red, to the straight red, to the pure red, I added orange, just a, a quick orange mixture, and I did it on, you can see, to give it a little bit of a highlight, a little bit of a pop. A little rough, but we'll get that wash on there and clean all that up. All right, so let's uh, move on. Like and subscribe, really helps support the channel. Paints gray down on all three models. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a dark gray blue right there with the paints gray to give me a little bit of a highlight and I'm going to go over some of those higher areas 
uh, on this guy, you know. Oh. Go over some of the higher areas. Payne's gray and the dark, let's see, the uh, dark gray blue mix all in. It looks really nice. It gives it a real nice highlight. I really like the way that looks. Now I can take this a little further with, um, let's see, here we go, with a uh, sky blue, mix it in with that particular mix, the uh, Payne's gray and the dark gray blue mix. Add a little bit of that white and I can etch just on the extreme high areas to make this thing pop and we may end up doing that but these are looking really nice let's take a look at Gar Saxon here let me zoom out a little bit got him down he's looking really really nice well he's everything's starting to pop everything's starting to come together I tried to separate all of these colors with some dark browns and some grays and some 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 dark blues you know it's 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 looking really terrific um so anyway let's get the uh the re I, I may do that little blue highlight if if i don't do that we're going to move on to some metallic uh i think i've got to get some of the jet packs and things like that so let's do it i've got the leather belts done i did a, a bit of this off camera and all i did was put some uh I believe it was dark brown and uh, mahogany and I mixed a little ivory to get the highlights real quick just through a real a brown base and then they um, just like I said I used ivory to lighten it down and, and that was that real quick real simple did that on on all of them she didn't have a belt but I did highlight a little bit of the uh, the leather with some of the brown um, so what we have left now is, I mean, they're pretty much done. It's just about, it's nitpicking now. It's about uh, highlighting. I've got to do the horns. I've got to do the visor on Gar Saxon. Uh, what else? What else we have? Obviously, we have the shield here. We've got to touch up the pistols. And then we are on to the flames. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do orange flames blue flames or green flames I, I know they're probably I think technically they're orange or whatever but I don't know I was just trying to do something a little cool green would really pop blue would really pop too orange would really pop orange yellow but uh, I don't know I haven't decided I just was wanting to do something just a little different here but these guys are turning out really great I'm really happy again I, I came into this paint session uh, you know worried about this worried about that and it always works out I, I don't even know why I worry but these guys are already table ready pretty much with a couple little touch-ups so uh, let's uh, let's move on to um, uh, I, I gotta get a couple metallic things done on the belt buckles things like that uh, what else his horns so let's do the horns the belt buckles Maybe that visor, we can knock those three things out. All right, let's do it.
Okay, I think uh, they're pretty much done as far as their suits and everything. Um, I may go do a couple little touch-ups on the red armor with some ivory and some red, possibly. Um, I'm going to do the shield. Um, but, I mean, these guys, as far as their suits, I mean, they're done. I did the metallic work. I did the helmet with ivory and white. The top of Gar Saxon's helmet, ivory and white, and then none of this has any wash. I'll probably do a simple wash over everything, you know, just to kind of to, to blend all of these lines in and to darken some of the things up just a little bit. And then, as always, I do a matte varnish. Um, so I probably will end up doing the highlight, the higher highlight on the uh, with the ivory and the red on the armor in the red here and there, just to make it pop before I do my matte varnish. So. Uh, so this is we're just finishing things up here now um, I've got a couple little highlights to do on the armor of hers her 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 stomach area need to highlight that Ooh, almost knocked him over uh, you know anyway a couple little things here and there um, so so and then we're gonna move on to the flames I think I'm gonna do blue flames to make it pop just just to give it some some flair there so uh, we'll do that I'll do a, a blue a bright blue and then maybe a yellow flame in it like a like a gas flame from a stove or something something like that anyway let's uh, let's do it went ahead and airbrushed the shield there I just kind of spot sprayed the top of it a little bit and kind of did a little little OSL around here just a, just a little bit I'll give it a little bit of a glow with uh, this uh, this uh, secret weapon green, this works really well for glowing stuff. I haven't found a pro krill version yet. I I did pick up their glaze and wash uh, medium, so maybe I can work something out with that. So, but for now we've got to stick with this because I don't have a pro krill version. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. start knocking some of those flames out or these jet packs out here uh, we'll start with the uh, this this super commando and we will just do orange here to about here here to here so let's go ahead and do that quick simple orange down and then I did a mix of orange and warm yellow just to give it a, a little highlight and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that dry because I kind of wet blended the the warm yellow and the orange and now I'm gonna go back with yellow and I'm gonna highlight the high areas on the on the flame so right up in here right up in these areas right here I'm gonna do the little flames yellow, and then maybe do a, a highlight on that yellow, and, and that's about it. And they're they're gonna be done. And then we'll do uh, 
maybe some apothecary white down here or maybe we'll just leave it like that do a little agrax on the bottom down here water down agrax on the very bottom half to give it the dirt look and then we'll just actually probably just use some white because I did ivory so I can highlight that ivory white to make the smoke you know pop a little more so we're gonna highlight yellow on the flames white on the bright ivory and then agrax water down agrax earth on the bottom shade to give it dust all right let's do it The wash done and this is uh, Agrax really watered down just getting in some of the crevices here Well, there you have it, guys. Star Wars Shatterpoint, Super Commandos, Gar Saxon. What a fun little paint. Uh, I, this, these guys were a blast. I, I, I loved doing the flames and the jets. And that red, that red was, you know, red is probably one of the more difficult colors for me. But, uh, it, it, you know, push through on this. And when you highlight it, use orange. It really makes it pop. Give it a shot. Hey, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next week.